<coughs> so what I found is that the uh, image data is in there, but um, the it doesn't come with a header, and part of the image data itself is corrupt. So this means it, that we will not be able to extract it, because for that we need a, a header. We will not be able to repair it using uh, a reference file because it assumes the uh, image data itself is intact and it can find the start of it. So then we're left with only the option to try to manually do all this. And for this, uh, where were we again? Here. We need to, we first need to select the corrupt file, which was this one. And now we will give it a header and we're just going to glue that onto the image data but because the image data is not uh, fully intact it will result in a corrupt image and then we need to repair that as much as possible we're going to tell it we're, we want to uh, append the header we okay that then it will ask us from which file it can use this header. This is the reference file you uh, send me. And then we click repair. So the file looks corrupt, but you can already see that we have a uh, that there is image data in here, and we we now have the correct uh, resolution. And we can see that by these uh, vert uh, these horizontal uh, lines at the start of the image, that this is where the corruption is. Um, because I have done this more often, I can estimate this is quite a bit of corruption. So I'm going to tell it to start by removing 100 kilobytes of data. And once I have that, I uh, reload the file. We do, we do not need to append this header stuff again because it now has a valid header from the reference file so now we need to try to make it uh, look more uh, presentable we need to finish this let us finish this So it finished. Now the uh, a JPEG file is um, encoded and decoded per line of MCUs and then it works its way uh, top to bottom. That means that if we if if there's corruption at the start of the file, this will propagate through the entire file. So then we need to try to get in front of this corruption, remove it, and then see if we can get a presentable file. So I want to remove this corruption as close as, start as possible from the start of the file. So I double click this. This gives me the first addressable image data. Uh, and from that point I will start removing data
and this is a process of trial and error there is no uh, exact science involved in this so now you can see the image file already starting to look uh, we can see what it is now I can try it. you see this um, there is still kind of a bluish haze purplish haze I can try and see if I can get rid of it now it's becoming more bluish apart from the number of bytes we remove we can try to experiment with the position from which we remove bytes Now I'm almost right at the start of the file. So it shows these files are uh, repairable, and, and at least this one contains uh, image data. But it's still a lot of work to uh, repair it. Okay, now I'm going to try to move this portion to where it's supposed to be And then we're almost there, yeah, and um, so we can basically see this is the amount of data that was missing. So your file was without a header and then it missed this uh, much image data, but because we removed corrupt data from the start of the file it will show up at the end of the file everything moves up so to speak we can modify the header to uh, ignore this uh, little bit of uh, nothing okay now this doesn't look uh, very nice yet so this will require some more uh, work in a photo editor and um, easiest way to do this is copy this to the uh, clipboard then fire up a, a photo editor tell it to paste the image from the clipboard into a new image so we see we have the 6,000 times almost 4,000 pixel uh, image. There is some uh, 
a, a line of uh, data here that I want to get rid of because that's the result of us appending the header of the reference file to the corrupt file. So I'll just cut that, crop that, like so. And then we can try to, maybe auto level will help us somewhat, but not entirely. Uh, I think there's a little too much blue in there. So we'll try to get rid of some blue. Maybe we can add some red, maybe. Okay. Uh, maybe I want to make it a tad brighter. No, no, no. Maybe I want to play with contrast and uh, brightness. But this would be up to you basically. So you can get a result something like that. Which is then close to the uh, give or take a couple of in the height of uh, lines of pixels but so yeah the image data is in there but the header is not and the first uh, portion of the actual image data is missing a 